Hi there, in this part of the course, uh, we are going to talk about uh, why there is a need for open source uh, data visualization systems. So first of all, I would like to uh, just set a big name uh, over here. So you have in fact uh, three big uh, solutions which are mostly used for data visualization, which are Microsoft BI, which are Tableau software, and which are Google Data Studio. So here it's very simple to identify that uh, Microsoft BI um, data visualization software hosts the data within Microsoft Server. Same thing for Google Data Studio. And if you look for Tableau software, uh, if you look through uh, their online documentation, you will see that they mostly work with uh, AWS, so let to say Amazon, and even if they were not working with Amazon, as you can see here down below, uh, it's a Salesforce uh, company. So to say, if it's not uh, uh, hosted on Amazon server, probably uh, they are using um, uh, a cloud which belongs to a, a very, very big company uh, anyway. So, so to say, um, that's kind of a need uh, for um, uh, for an open source player here, because as you can imagine, as you are inserting data within those uh, sexy solution, in fact, uh, what's going to happen is that uh, you are going to make all the brain analysis uh, over here. And in fact, um, so you can import data uh, from Matomo, for example, within Google Data Studio or even within Pro BI and so on and so forth. And uh, what is interesting is that the data that you have in Matomo Analytics, probably um, they are not uh, precise enough because uh, you don't have the context which go with it. And in fact, when you use the data visualization software, this is where you will add your personal context. So for example, if I look through Matomo and I look at e-commerce, for example, you look at e-commerce um, and uh, you see those data here, are they good or are they not? Um, you don't know it within Matomo. It's only the company who is able to read this data and tell you if those figures are good or not. And in fact, it is exactly uh, the conclusion that you will add within your uh, data visualization software where you will import your data feed coming from Matomo with this given figure and where you will clearly indicate as a comment if this is a good figure and if it's a bad figure. And uh, what it means is that if you are using uh, a GAFAM uh, technology such as Google Data Studio, such as Microsoft BI, or so as uh, Tableau software, in fact, you are giving straight away to those uh, GAFAM uh, platform uh, the solution of uh, the issue, which is to say if your company is uh, profitable or not. And that's exactly why you should avoid to use those GAFAM technology because uh, you are kind of running your own company, right? You are sending all your brain analysis to those uh, given player, whereas actually uh, you could keep all those data on your own. And that's exactly what you can do with solutions such as Metabase or Redash under their current uh, license. As once you download those technologies, they belong to your company and you are in full control if, of course, you host them on a platform on which uh, that, that you trust, let's say. And that's it uh, for everything that I wanted to explain about uh, why there is a, a need for open source data visualization system and why you need to own your own platform. Thanks for watching.